Since I'm in the administrators group, I see this admin dashboard link in the upper right corner. In the admin dashboard, I can perform all the administrative functions in Active Report Server, such as managing the users and their permissions, server configuration, themes and styles, uploading or downloading reports, and managing the logical models. So the first thing you'll do when you install Active Report Server is generate a logical model for your organization's database. The logical model is a logical view of the database that is cleaned up for the business users. It's organized into entities. Each entity is roughly equivalent to a table in your database, and each entity has a set of attributes and relationships to other entities. The logical model will give your users an easy-to-use view of the database using simple controls like lists and tree view controls that they can simply drag and drop entities and attributes from. Things like table relationships that require SQL join queries are generated automatically for the user. Expressions needed for totals or calculated fields are also handled for the user automatically. Creating a logical model is quick and easy. All you do is enter your connection information to the database, and Active Report Server will generate the model for you. The model generator is pretty smart about generating a nice model. It does basic things like renaming fields that have spaces between words and adding proper capitalization. It will even do things like find and hide the primary and foreign key fields, since they're not useful for the users to report on. It will also automatically add common totals for numeric fields, like average, min, and max, and it will make date fields appear like year, quarter, and month. After this, the model is pretty good. But since databases aren't usually designed to be used for business user reporting, you'll probably still want to make some changes. So you can use the model editor to edit and organize the model into a view of the database that your users will understand better. So you might go in and do things like hiding tables that the users don't need to report on. For example, maybe we don't want our users to be able to report on other employees. In this case, you could just hide the employee entity from the users. You can also do things like add a calculated field based on an expression. Set up defaults on attributes, like formatting an invoice total field to include a currency symbol. Then when the users use the report designer to create reports, they won't see unnecessary or sensitive entities like employees. Any of the calculated fields that the admin created will appear just like another attribute. It'll be easy for the end user to drag and drop onto the report. And any defaults specified on the attributes like currency formatting for the invoice total will be used automatically in tables and charts. I'm Scott Willicke. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing Grape City.